Hello, this is Andy Darnley with Nationwide Lifts, and in this video I'm going to explain a little bit about how a roped hydraulic elevator works. So uh, a lot of people might understand how hydraulic elevators work, but uh, the roped hydraulic uh, has some benefits to it that I, I'd like to show you. Uh, there's no need for digging a deep uh, pit for the hydraulic uh, piston, uh, and, uh, and it's actually becoming one of the, the more common hydraulic elevators out there. It's definitely uh, the, what's used for residential hydraulic elevators, and uh, as well as uh, light commercial Lula elevators. So I'd like to give you a good look at that. And then if you're not familiar with how a hydraulic elevator works, so you're going to get the, that information out of this video as well. So we're going to head off to the job site and uh, show you a little bit more about how this works. Okay, we're going to take a look inside the uh, elevator shaft for a roped hydraulic elevator. So inside here, you'll see what we call the jack stand. This is uh, what sets the, uh, the height where the, the, the hydraulic jack is going to sit. And then this is a little bit of adjustability for that height. And then this right here is the jack. So in this case, this jack is probably about 15 feet tall. Um, we're going to take a look at the top of it here shortly. On the top of it, there's a shiv or basically a pulley. And this cable, which is attached to a fixed place right here, this cable is going up over the pulley and then coming down and attaching to the car. So this is what we call a roped hydraulic. So this, it's the cable that's actually attached to the car, but it's the hydraulic piston with the pulley that is uh, doing all the work. It's, it's pushing up to, uh, to lift that car up. And when, as it comes down, uh, the, the, uh, the cable will, will come down along with it and allow the car to move. Now, because of the, the uh, pulley action, we get a two to one ratio. So, so basically, uh, for every foot that this jack goes outward, the car is going to move two feet. Um, now, nice thing about this is that there's no need to dig a, uh, a well into the, uh, into the ground here for the hydraulic uh, piston. In the old days, that, that's, that's really how they were all done. If you had something that had 25 feet of travel, you were putting a piston 25 feet into the ground. Now, uh, with a roped hydraulic, it can ride beside the cab, not go into the ground at all, and then for 25 feet of travel, you only need a piston that will um, extend about 12 and a half feet. Now, coming out of the bottom of the piston is the hydraulic pipe. You can see that this is being routed over here and then through the wall uh, into the machine room where the, where the tank and the, uh, the pump are. So in order to go up, that pump is uh, putting high pressure hydraulic fluid through this line into the bottom of this jack and forcing the, uh, the ram of the jack upward. And then uh, obviously when, when you want to come down, it, the, uh, the controller opens up a valve that allows the, the hydraulic fluid to flow out and then allows that ram to come down. One other uh, thing to note here is back behind here, there's an overspeed valve. So, or, or some, some people call it a rupture valve. If there were to be any type of a problem where a pipe burst or anything like that, this valve would actually close immediately and not let that uh, car move beyond a certain speed. So it's a very safe operation. Uh, the car can never move beyond the, uh, the rated speed. Okay, so here is the equipment room for a roped hydraulic elevator. You can see here we have a small tank unit with the hydraulic pump as well as the controller. The controller is basically the, uh, the brains of the elevator. Um, inside the tank here, is a reservoir uh, with a with a typical Lula elevator might hold about 20 gallons of hydraulic fluid, and uh, and then is a submersible pump here, and the, the valve which controls the speed at which the uh, uh, the hydraulic fluid is flowing and, and how fast the elevator is raising or lowering. Um, we have a hydraulic pipe. This is a high pressure pipe that's coming out and going through the wall and into our hoistway. So when the, uh, when the elevator needs to go in up in the up direction, this controller is going to uh, send power to the pump unit. It's going to build up pressure. The valve will allow it to flow out at a certain rate and, uh, and basically push the, the ram of the, uh, of the jack up, lifting the elevator. When it's time for the elevator to come in the down direction, the, the pump doesn't turn on at all. It simply opens up a, a down valve within, uh, uh, within this tank here, and that releases the, uh, the pressure and allows the, uh, the hydraulic fluid to, to flow back in at, a, at a, uh, a controlled rate. Now there's also some safety items built into this, uh, 
this valve, for instance, there's a pressure relief uh, valve, which doesn't allow that pressure to get above a certain uh, pressure. Um, and then uh, there's also a, an emergency lowering capability here. So if, uh, if there was a problem ever with the, with the, uh, with the elevator and, and let's say emergency personnel had to open up the door and the elevator wasn't at the right location, you could actually pull on this, uh, this uh, valve and, and lower it to, uh, um, to, to, to help get people out or, or help uh, uh, service the elevator. All right, now we're inside the hoistway on top of the car. So you can see the, uh, the cable, which is going down to a fixed point in the pit. It's attaching to a fixed point there. This cable comes up over the pulley that's on top of the piston and then comes down and then it attaches to the car itself, okay? So basically, as that piston extends out, it's going to, it's going to, move, this, it's going to move this cab up. And because you, you have two ropes, or basically a rope on each side, that means that you're gonna get a two to one ratio. So every foot that that pulley moves up, this cab is going to move two feet, okay? And then uh, uh, I'll run this for you right now so you can see it moving. So you can see the, the ram is extending out of the jack and it's forcing that pulley upwards, which is bringing us right up the elevator shaft here. And then just, uh, just the opposite, if I were to go in the down direction, uh, every foot that this, uh, that this uh, piston moves in the down direction, we're going to move two feet. And that's how a roped uh, two to one hydraulic elevator works. Well, I hope this video has uh, helped you understand a little bit more about uh, how roped hydraulic elevators work. If you have any questions or would like to learn a little bit more about it, you can check out our website at elevators.com. We have a section on the website called educational videos and there's some uh, animated videos that also show how all the different types of elevators work. Thank you.